Very good morning, participants. Welcome again in this uh, learning session. I hope I think you are enjoying this session. Yesterday we had uh, Mr. Virendra Gupta from uh, Delhi Hunt, and he uh, mentioned some very important points uh, regarding this innovation startup. And uh, he mentioned a very, 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 very important point that uh, innovation should not be restricted to a particular class. It is not uh, restricted to some elite class or English speaking class or uh, we can say that uh, for engineers only or for a particular stream of engineers. So uh, we have to uh, think about that and we have to involve more and more people. Involvement is very important. Like if one person can do something and if you involve 10 persons, your output uh, will definitely become uh, 10 times. So we have to involve each and every person surrounding uh, in your family, in your society, in your uh, college, everywhere we have to involve more and more people. We have to uh, inspire more and more people for this innovation. Then only we will be able to meet uh, the uh, target, national target, our college targets, our own academic targets. So uh, that same uh, theme is uh, with the local academy or AICT that is also very uh, concerned about that innovation level should be increased nationwide. That's why we are discussing here at this point. Okay, uh, the important thing is uh, innovation startup uh, that uh, needs to have something. Innovation can be uh, initiated with uh, some uh, basic requirements and the three basic requirements are, first is man. Now, uh, the product which is to be proposed is a man. The product which is to be developed is a man. The, uh, the person who is designing that a man that uh, person who is manufacturing or using, and finally uh, that customer or user. So everywhere we have that uh, presence of a man or humans. So human uh, resources, uh, we uh, call that man. Second is very important material, but uh, whatever that material, which is required to uh, develop a product, that is very important. And third thing is technology. So uh, during the, the last two days, we were discussing about the man, human psychology, human mental stuff, setup, mind setup, that uh, attitude, which is very, very important for developing this period. So design thinking was a very uh, important concept. Uh, Professor Harlal Singh Mali uh, discussed that in a very uh, perfect manner. So we understand what the psychology we need to develop, what the psychology of product developer need to develop, and then only we can go for some active product or useful product for the society. So it is very important. Now that another uh, important aspect is material, and uh, so to deal with that material, we were uh, discussing during that uh, initial uh, sessions. By professors from mechanical engineering department, how to deal with the material, how we can have machine learning, everything. Yes. So uh, that material is very important thing. And, uh, we had uh, some sessions uh, from mechanical engineering department. So some uh, participants were very concerned that. Uh, Mechanical engineering will be discussed or something. So it is part of our product development. So now that third thing is technology. That uh, very important thing is technology. Uh, what is the meaning of that technology? We have to understand. So uh, technology uh, uh, that uh, play a great role in the product development. And the uh, meaning of that technology or what is the purpose of that technology is just to implement the logic. What is uh, your logic? What you want to uh, perform your product? What actually output you want to generate? So technology has uh, uh, three basic ingredients. One uh, is uh, just a point. Is there any? Yeah, 
So uh, technology uh, is basically the implementation of the logic. It has three uh, ingredients. One is that input, whatever the input we are giving to uh, our product, and what is the logic it is uh, performing that is called processing, and it generates some output which which is to be uh, supplied to that uh, output unit, whatever the motor or actuator or what different uh, uh, output units you have. So definitely we have to deal with mechanical input, uh, mechan mechanics based inputs. Please uh, mute your uh, speakers. Mute your uh, microphone. Yeah. So, uh, so with your uh, microphone, Manshu is there, I think. Uh, so, technology is very important. Uh, I think that, uh, input uh, we uh, generally receive from that uh, other world. It may be some displacement, it may be some velocity, it may be some uh, something else, whatever uh, uh, different type of inputs, and that has to be processed. So uh, processing, after processing, you uh, again uh, generate some output. So initially, uh, that uh, uh, processing was uh, being performed with some mechanical systems, mechan mechanical mechanisms. Now the technology is changing. We have to go with better, better uh, logic implementation. So, impl logic implementation today, as of date, we are having very good technology that is embedded system. Most of the products, new products, are with embedded system technology. And uh, today onwards, like uh, today and tomorrow, two days, we have uh, reserved for you know, this discussion with this technology. How you can implement your logic in your product? So that is uh, initially we will uh, discuss the very basic uh, uh, understanding about uh, this uh, embedded system. I know that uh, we the participants are from diverse background. Some are from mechanical engineering. Even I have seen a, uh, a participant having uh, coming from this plastic engineering. Some. Uh, Human psychology or that, that humanity um, <coughs> is also there. So we have different uh, stuff uh, or uh, participants, different backgrounds. So we uh, tried to manage that in such a way that that initially that first session we would be uh, taking care about very very basics about the embedded system. Everybody you should be able to understand what is that embedded system is, and that second uh, part would be uh, uh, we dealt with the industry person who is uh, actually implementing this. Yes. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes, Imanshu, you are audible. Uh, just uh, mute uh, your uh, microphone for a moment. Uh, what about now, sir? You are audible. Uh, I am having some uh, audio issue at my side. Uh, sir, what about now? Is it's it okay? perfect? It is perfect. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, so, so let me. Uh, actually, I miss uh, the starting session. Uh, oh, don't worry. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry Just, for that. Well. So uh, what we were uh, discussing that uh, that uh, we have uh, the first session that is to be dealt with an academic, uh, academic background person would be able to uh, explain uh, the very uh, small basics about the embedded system. And then thereafter, we would be having some industry persons and we would be showing you how we developed a particular product. So during these two days, we, we will be uh, focusing uh, the uh, technology detail about this embedded system, how we uh, develop some product with IoT. So uh, I think it would be some entertaining entertainment uh, uh, learning, good learning session for you. So thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank uh, really very thank you and 
for such a warm welcome and uh, sir, your voice I'm... is uh, is increase volume of your voice uh hello okay uh, good morning all the participants himanshu sir respected rahul raj choudhary sir and all the faculty members uh, himanshu verma received his masters degree in embedded systems in 2010 he has more than 14 years of teaching and industry experience He has worked as a developer in the Japanese tech industry in Tokyo. Currently, he is working as assistant professor at BK Birla Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pilani. He has conducted several training programs for engineering faculty, sponsored by MHRD, ISTE, RTU Kota, and NITTTR Chandigarh. He has also conducted sponsored workshops and faculty development programs on topics embedded world, cyber crime, and forensic tools. Uh, akash android application programming glsi system design to name a few he is nominated as honorary secretary of iei plc he is a member of various professional bodies such as institute of engineers india international association of engineers hong kong and international academy for science and technology education and research his research uh, interest include machine learning image processing pattern uh, pattern recognition and artificial intelligence please welcome sir uh thank you pushpender sir for such a warm welcome and uh, good morning to all the respected professors faculty members and uh, all um, i'm really very honored to be here with all of you today and uh, i'm really thankful to dr rahul raj choudhary sir to provide me such an opportunity to speak uh, to speak in this session and uh, really uh, th th this this kind of uh, uh, topic and subjects are rarely seen uh, i mean such type of workshops are rarely uh, uh, seen on uh, you know on, although you know uh, there are a lot of workshops are going on on core subjects on on, on subjects on technology and all but uh, this one is a kind of some uh, a, a different topic and a must have topic so it really uh, i am i'm also thankful to uh, the coordinators of this workshop and i i also would like to request that uh, please do conduct uh, such type of uh, workshops in future also so uh, thank you all uh, now for uh, this session uh, but before starting this session i would like to say that uh, uh, today's session has been designed according to the you know uh, multidisciplinary uh, branches uh, subjects you know so uh, it might possible that uh, some of you may have uh, find that um, that um, that material uh, is too basic uh, but <clears throat> but uh, that that, that the, the, those topics may be completely new to uh, someone so if you have uh, any questions please do, uh, do not hesitate to interrupt me in between the session i am happy to answer any questions and we as we go along so uh, let's start uh, my screen is visible i i hope Yes. Please press F5. Make a full screen. Yes, sir. Manju, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Please. Ah, uh, just a second. Yes, I think uh, it is better now. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Ah, uh, so in uh, today's session, we will uh, we will discuss uh, these topics in which we have uh, like uh, we will discuss on systems. Ah, uh, then we will uh, discuss on embedded systems, the, the the components and hardware of embedded systems, applications of embedded systems and other system as as well, their classifications. Lot uh, various processors or microcontrollers or maybe special kind of processors uh, used or may, uh, types of uh, the, their and of those we will discuss. Then uh, and then some other hardware that that are uh, you know uh, some uh, application specific 
um, it might require some time, sometimes not, and that kind of hardware we will discuss. And uh, in the last, we will discuss the embedded design system design process and recent technologies and their challenges. So, uh, so the first one uh, we, we should discuss on uh, like what is a system. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, system uh, is a way of working. So, and way of working means I, I uh, like uh, organize or doing one or maybe multi multitask according to a fixed plan. The meaning of fixed plan is here that uh, a, 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 a set of rules. So a system is an arrangement in which all the units uh, uh, like assembles and united and work together uh, for a for a common goal, right? Uh, so if if we if we talk about one example here, that is a non-technical example that is like our human body. Uh, so our human body consists of various parts, right? Like we have head. Uh, in our head, there is a brain uh, that act as a processor, like, uh, and we have a heart also that, that we can uh, compare it like a power supply to us. Then we have hands, legs, we can compare these, uh, these uh, our parts uh, to, uh, as a actuators, like uh, some mechanical uh, parts, right? So they, they, they act according to the signals that, that sent by uh, the brain and all. Now, these uh, various body parts are related to each other. They, I mean, they are connected to each other uh, by, by a network, okay? That, that network is uh, known as a nerve, nerve system for our body, right? And they all uh, united and working together for a common goal. And now the common goal for us is that living. So for living, they are working continuously like our heart is pumping continuously, brain and all. So we all are our lungs and so they are working together and they, 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 the main motive of all those, uh, all those parts, all those uh, different, different components have a common goal. Now, if we talk about uh, some technical uh, aspects, like, uh, like uh, a example here, like washing machine. Uh, so we can say it is a kind of automatic, uh, cloth washing machine system. Now let's see uh, what is it. So if we talk about a fully automatic machine, so the, the parts we can, uh, we can say that it, it have some uh, status display panel that, that display the condition or the process that, that is going on in that washing machine and all. It, it have uh, some dials, some switches, some maybe rotary dial. Uh, although in uh, automatic, fully automatic machine, it is hard to find a rotary uh, dials and all. But um, anyway, the, this one is a general example. Uh, so motors, uh, power supplies, uh, control unit, and uh, water level sensors, uh, uh, and solenoid walls. So, so all these parts uh, work in a united form. And the main goal of these, uh, these part is to wash our clothes, right? So, and not only that, they, they act according to a fixed plan. They act according to a, to a set of rules. According to those set of rules, they, they, they process, they provide a specific task, right? So if, if, we, if, we, if we talk about the rules of uh, that a washing machine, so if, if for a fully auto, uh, automatic machine, like uh, whenever we put some clothes, clothes for uh, wash, it automatically detects its weight according to that weight it will fetch some uh, detergent maybe it in form of liquid or uh, maybe try so that 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 uh, the quantity of that uh, that uh, detergent will be uh, de depends will be based on the weight of that clothes if clothes are more then it it, it will also fetch some more detergent for it but before that it will it will uh, fetch uh, water from a uh, tank there, there is a sol solenoid wall well, uh, as well it will detect the, the the presence of water if if there is no water at all it will not uh, uh, provide the uh, power supply to the motors and all others so it will not work so the, they all have the, the, their uh, their roles so after fetching the detergent and all it will spin for some times also time is uh, depends on the weight of clothes 
now uh, if clothes are uh, more in number it will spin for more time after it it will uh, it will uh, dry and uh, and the, the display unit will provide all the states of its uh, step by step pro, uh, steps on its display and uh, like in case of any uh, interruption by user or maybe a for power failure it will start from it uh, <coughs> like uh, it, it execute only the remaining part right so th these are the set of rules in the form of a small code or maybe in form of a, a small software and uh, all those hardware and software work together to provide a common goal so next uh, we we will we we will come to the, uh, the the main topic that is our embedded system now uh, you know uh, embedded system are the you know cornerstone of the electronics uh, electronic industry today so uh, these these systems uh, use in almost uh, uh, almost every area like you know consumers uh, cooking industrial uh, automotive uh, medical commercial as well as military and in lot of uh, areas, uh, embedded systems are providing very uh, crucial roles and uh, important roles as well. So, so, <clears throat> so, uh, embedded. Uh, that, that word embedded is uh, you know um, a combination of two words, embedded and system. So that that word embedded means uh, that something attached to it, something something attached inside that uh, that system. And uh, the system we already discussed that multiple components uh, work together that they in a connected way, in a united way, and uh, provide a, 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 a common goal or a special purpose. So, so a embedded system is a kind of special uh, purpose system designed to perform some certain uh, dedicated function, some perform some dedicated task. So. Uh, we can say nearly uh, any any computing system other than desktops, mainframes, uh, and laptops are uh, we can say embedded systems. It means uh, embedded systems just require some input. Uh, whole unit uh, is uh, inside a inside a small chip and or or is in a small hardware and it will provide that output and it will act as a for a uh, for a special task. So uh, so. It, if if we talk about a, a, a definition, you know, there, there it is very hard to define embedded system. There are a lot of definitions and a lot of views on embedded system. So if we if we discuss about on like a, a definition from uh, Marlin Wolf, I hope all of you know that uh, she is a American uh, American citizen and uh, working as a professor in uh, computer department of university of nebraska uh, also she is a expert of embedded system so according to her uh, a, a embedded system is a, a any sort of device which includes a programmable uh, uh, computer but itself not indeed uh, to be a general purpose computer right so we can say that embedded system is a, a computer inside a product but uh, please uh, don't, uh, uh, don't uh, like uh, compare embedded system with a computer system because there are a lot of difference between them. Uh, we will discuss uh, that what are the differences between uh, embedded system and a, a computer system. So, so, so if we if we talk about a, a, a general purpose computer hardware, a computer system. Uh, it have a microprocessors. Uh, it it have also large memory in in form of uh, primary memory and secondary memory. I I mean a lot of RAM uh, RAM is there. Lot of uh, ROM and secondary storage is there. Uh, although scenario has changed lot of like uh, right, right now I'm I'm using a, a a PC that having just only two two GB of RAM and uh, two uh, and 500 GB of uh, HDD, uh, but uh, but uh, the latest uh, mobile phones like my, my wife having a a OnePlus uh, Note that 
that having 12 GB of RAM and uh, 256 GB of uh, ROM inside as a, as, a, as a secondary storage. So, so scenario has changed a lot of, uh, but, but in, if we talk about a general purpose computer, it, it have a lot of uh, resources. There is no, no lack of resources at all. It have, it have separate units. It have, uh, it have, um, uh, it have uh, different, different kind of units according to that. So the, what are other uh, units? So like uh, output units in, in, in form of output units, we have uh, monitors, we have printers, we have speakers and uh, like that. So uh, general purpose computer also have uh, networking units like, uh, you know, Ethernet cards, uh, maybe Wi-Fi cards and all. And uh, it have uh, input output units as well, like modems, swagger, uh, modems and all. So, so there is no lack of resources at all. So if, if uh, <clears throat> we see in the detail, that uh, the processor, that microprocessor is connected with uh, all other hardwares uh, by a system bus. So it requires a, 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 a kind of platform, a kind of board, uh, a, a, we call it a motherboard. So it, uh, all other devices are connected with the microprocessor externally by, uh, through that uh, system buses and that board. So that 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 is the uh, you we can say like uh, that uh, a general purpose computer. Now, if we talk about a components of uh, or a hardware of embedded systems, so in in form of hardware, of course we have processors here, maybe a microprocessor, maybe mostly uh, multi uh, multi uh, microcontrollers are there. Try uh, timers. Then we have interrupt controllers. We have input output devices also memory is there and ports, ports uh, so that we can connect some other devices as well. So uh, <clears throat> these, these are the, these are the uh, components. So in here you can see like uh, if, 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 we, if we consider it, it is a, like a, it's a general embedded device, it has some sensors that uh, sense physical environment and send the data to, a, a analog to digital converter and like so so a sensor uh, measure the physical quantity and uh, converts it it electrical signals with the which can be read by a analog to digital converter or which can be uh, read or observed by any 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 electronic instrument now uh, that uh, analog to digital converter uh, converts that analog signal into a digital signal and sent to the processor for for processing. Now here we we, we have uh, multiple choices like we have microcontroller, maybe a microprocessor. So that that uh, processor act on the input that is provided by analog to digital converter, and then process on, on the and on the data and provide the output. So in 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 form of output we have display and we have a digital to analog converter. Uh, so a digital to analog converter uh, is, a, uh, is a, a, we can say to convert that digital signals into analog signal again. So like our actuators and all uh, these kind of devices are uh, analog devices. So that converter send, uh, send the data to actuators and then actuators again uh, provide the output to the physical environment. So we can say this is this is just a basic basic diagram of an embedded system. Now uh, this one uh, uh, thing is we can compare with a general purpose computer. Now uh, uh, in 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 previous slides uh, uh, that processor of a general purpose uh, system was connected through uh, system buses with other devices, but in case of embedded system. Uh, that all all the parts all the devices are inside inside that chip inside that microcontroller so uh, but but all are uh, having a small uh, we can say uh, small in quantity small uh, we can say lack of resources are there so it, it have also memory but uh, a, a, a few few bytes or maybe in some megabytes and but not in gb 
so we have uh, some memory here we have uh, analog input uh, output ports digital input output ports we have counters timers that all are connected to uh, all are all are inbuilt or we can say embedded into that chip now uh, we need to just provide some input output uh, inputs from some sensors to that 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 particular uh, chip uh, that particular system and it will provide output because all units are inside that one <clears throat> now uh, what are we uh, other hardware we can uh, we can say for a, a embedded system like uh, embedded system usually have uh, like a power supply and uh, you know <clears throat> serial uh, communication ports to which we can connect some, uh, some some to provide some inputs or maybe to to get some uh, output as uh, as a display or maybe to get some uh, some uh, you know results from like that and also it have some uh, some application specific uh, circuits as well but that depends on that applications now uh, this one is just a short list of embedded system why i am saying uh, this because uh, uh, embedded systems are everywhere we we, we 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 if we if we talk about any any device uh, we we can say uh, it 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 may be in a form of embedded system for 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 example like uh, anti anti lock brake system of a auto auto uh, automotive vehicle or maybe a ATM machine is an example. We have automatic toll systems is a good example. Uh, camcorders, uh, cell phones, uh, and then uh, digital cameras, our disk driver, the, the, the controller of that driver ca contains some uh, small microcontrollers. So that, that, that provide access between that uh, motherboard and that uh, disk and uh, electronic card readers a lot of electronic toys and games we, we can say factory control fax machine fingerprint identifier uh, for home securities uh, home security system a life support system for uh, for hospitals and all modems network cards uh, pagers photocopier machines scanners and ovens uh, microwave ovens dishwashers stereo systems televisions so uh, set top box dvd player so th there there is a, a, a huge this huge number of uh, products are available that those are in form of embedded systems so we can say that uh, that that a, 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 we can say 50% of our our appliances in home are in form of embedded system so uh, let's talk about the you know uh, some advantages of embedded system what are the advantages uh, uh, if we compare with other systems or maybe some special advantages of an embedded system. So, uh, first of all, that embedded system is a kind of task specific uh, system. So, that, 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 uh, that these devices do their task uh, uh, in, 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 in a time, time limitation and they, they do same task repeatedly, uh, continuously maybe 24 into 7 and maybe over their whole lifetime uh, for example uh, an mp3 player will function uh, or function that, that that to play some mp3 songs so that the, the main task and uh, no not the main the only task for that system is to play songs and for example our uh, routers our wi-fi uh, devices that works continuously to provide uh, a connectivity with internet and all now the advanced, second advantage we can say that uh, they have fast operations. Uh, they 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 perform uh, some uh, the task within a, a time frame, and uh, the, 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 the the device must therefore perform fast enough. Uh, you know sometimes we we use this kind of embedded system in 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 devices where where a slight slight uh, delay can be dangerous. Uh, for example, a or a brake system uh, for a car. So, if a slight delay of just two or three seconds can be can can be very dangerous. It can cause accident to uh, to, to to that vehicle. So, 
they are very very uh, they they are very fast of course uh, they they perform their their uh, task in in certain time frame also uh, as we discussed that embedded systems are uh, comparatively very high high reliable systems and uh, not only that they have very few interconnections uh, as we discussed that all all the all the resources are inside inside the chip inside that uh, system uh, we need not to connect them uh, externally through a bus or through a motherboard so, so that's why they are uh, we can say fast as well uh, highly reliable and the next advantage we have is that uh, they have minimal user interface that we need not to we not we need not to provide a human interaction uh, every time to work a embedded system for example our washing machine you just need to uh, switch it on and you need to just press a start button then rest of the work uh, will be will be done by the uh, that washing machine automatically other example you can uh, take up uh, like uh, our uh, my microwave oven you just need to select the temperature and you need to select the time duration and it will uh, automatically uh, run for that provided set of rules now next advantage for the embedded system is that uh, they are very small in size uh, so uh, we can carry them uh, easily we can fit uh, in in the area where where uh, where their size is very small or we we cannot fit a large system in it uh, for example uh, like a, a braking system for a vehicle uh, we we cannot uh, install a, a, a simple uh, the general purpose computer inside to do that task so we need a, a kind of special a small system that, that provide that only specific task and it must be small in size the next advantage uh, in the, for embedded system that they are not uh, so expensive uh, that they, they are uh, they are comparatively very cheap if we compare with general purpose uh, computers so it it one uh, this one is also a uh, added uh, advantage for it next one that uh, it have uh, it has low power operations it, the consumption of a, a embedded system is very low uh, as we discuss all of the devices are inside a chip that there, there is no need to connect them with uh, external external buses and all also the the processor that microcontroller it use uh, also consume less power all that all the connected uh, devices all the connected resources use uh, less power uh, less power so so overall power consumption is very very uh, low comparatively to a uh, a general purpose uh, system and also that they are they are Manchu, uh, Manchu, Manchu, one question what is the average power requirement for the most of the general purpose embedded system uh, sir uh, it depends according to uh, you know uh, application specific uh, some of the embedded no, systems average, uh, general purpose uh, embedded system what is the average power means, uh, on a single, yeah. uh, you know, battery like our uh, watch-based yeah. battery will operate like that kind. Yeah. yeah, sir, I I got your question. I, I'm I'm coming to on it. Like uh, if we if we talk about a general purpose system, it it consume power in uh, maybe we can say like uh, 400 watts or maybe 500 watts. Uh, they they are connected to a wall uh, outlet which provide a continuous power. But in case of uh, embedded system, we ha we have. Uh, uh, different different type of uh, specific applications some some of the embedded system runs on uh, a small battery uh, battery uh, power backup some some uh, systems are provided with um, more battery power so they, their consumptions are in milliwatt for example your digital watch we can say it is a, a good example of uh, embedded system and uh, we need to provide it a button cell that works uh, for uh, two or three years continuously, right? So it it consume very very less power in in in, in, in milliwatts and they work uh, 24 into seven hours. Uh, some other applications, for example, if we talk about uh, uh, like our car system, the, the, then we have a, we have some bigger battery over there, so it it can work on 12 volt and can, uh, can consume power according to it. So power consumption is is based on the application specific. 
uh, we have uh, we have devices that can that can uh, run on a three volt uh, for uh, three four uh, years continuously. Again, we have some other examples uh, that those those uh, consume uh, more power, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, some for for a real time system or some other dedicated uh, bigger uh, systems. Uh, I hope uh, I am clear to you, sir. Okay, thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. And also, I'm I'm happy to answer any questions in between you have. So uh, really, please uh, do uh, interrupt me in between. Uh, a, a, a interactive session will be uh, will be a really a fruitful for us. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. So in continuous uh, continued uh, that that last uh, uh, that advantage that is that embedded systems are very easy for uh, mass production. The meaning of this one is that. Uh, like oh, uh, that system is a kind of a complex system. There, there, there are not not so many resources or uh, external. Uh, we can say uh, components are not there. So, so their production is a kind of easy one. Uh, for example, to 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 assemble a general purpose system, we we need to uh, connect lot of uh, external hardware. We need to connect uh, a hard disk. We need to connect. Uh, maybe a, a, a display uh, driver, maybe a dedicated display card, maybe a sound card. Although they are inbuilt right now, but if 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 I talk, uh, maybe a, a, a Ethernet network card, and and we need to provide a a, a, a motherboard, and we have need to assemble it, and like so, it, it consume more more time and human resource. But in case of embedded systems, uh, that that system is very small. Uh, that the, all components are uh, inside that system. Just we need to connect it with with input and output device, and and uh, that the system will be ready. So it is it is a kind of a, in assembly line. It is very easy for its mass production, and and of course this one is again a reason the why embedded system are uh, not too expensive. So on a uh, when mass production is easy, it will uh, uh, it will it, it decrease its uh, production cost as well as the overall cost of that system. Uh, now, uh, and not only the advantage, uh, there are some uh, disadvantages uh, as well for an embedded system. So this one is the, the other other uh, other side of a coin. Now uh, that first disadvantage is that uh, a embedded system is very difficult to upgrade. Uh, like uh, for example, uh, if you if you have a PC, you can easily uh, upgrade it uh, by uh, by change. You can change its RAM to from 2 GB to 4 GB or maybe 6 GB. Uh, there there are options. You you even can uh, change the processor. Um, you you can provide some some high speed uh, motherboard and all so th there are there are chances and the flexibility is high in case of a large system but uh, on the other hand embedded system are small in size and they, they are designed to designed to be a, a to perform a specific task there is a little scope for uh, you know upgradation all uh, so it is difficult to upgrade and um, second one is hardware is limited. Uh, of course, we already talked about that, like uh, that uh, uh, hardware that is uh, that is connected to a embedded system or that that may be inside that system is in limited. So uh, 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 after some few few years, uh, it 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 feels that system uh, gets slow and like that, and we even can't upgrade it. So these. These are some limited. Its uh, processing power is also limited, and like that. The third uh, disadvantage we have is that uh, the troubleshooting uh, is also difficult. Now, because uh, again, a, a general purpose system have uh, different, different, uh, you know, separate uh, devices, uh, externally connected devices. So we we can troubleshoot uh, by step by by using a step by step that which which circuit is uh, creating problem we we can find out that circuit we can even replace or maybe we can we can uh, repair or maybe we can find out but in case of uh, these small systems 
all system is within that uh, a, a chip or maybe a small uh, circuit so it is very difficult to find out the um, the problem so uh, now uh, if, if if a problem occur then the only only option we we, we left with is to reset that uh, system so uh, if if you have seen that the mostly embedded system uh, you know having a small hole uh, in which we have to press a, 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 maybe a, a pencil or maybe a pin uh, for for few seconds to reset it um, by by doing so, so we we can reset or we can restart that device otherwise uh, it will stuck in that that uh, state uh, or maybe in that stage and uh, next uh, the disadvantage we have that it is very hard to uh, take back backup of embedded files because uh, you know that these are very small systems there there is uh, not so much input output ports are available uh, also um, mostly embedded system use uh, firmware so it is very hard to take uh, backup files from those system uh, if you talk about a general purpose system we can easily just uh, connect as uh, maybe by through a lan or maybe a, a usb drive we can connect and we can we can uh, take backup and same as the last like transferring data from one system to another system is also quite problematic uh, and although the solution of the, this problem is uh, you uh, you might have heard that iot so iot is a, another level of embedded system that that uh, connected in uh, through uh, some network so on on, on that kind of uh, system we can uh, we can transfer data from a one system but in case of embedded system it is very hard to transfer data from one system to another system uh, so uh, we can take uh, any example with uh, for example uh, our old phones our old feature phones like nokia garaso so it is very hard to uh, take backup from that system we, we don't have any 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 kind of backup system if if you if you want to switch from that phone to a, a, a new phone uh, so you need to manually um, enter all the contacts from that system to another because there is no option to uh, uh, to transfer data now uh, let's come to the point that is uh, types of embedded system so uh, types of uh, in 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 this uh, section we can we can divide a embedded system in uh, according to two categories either we can uh, uh, come uh, we can we can uh, uh, divide on the basis of performance uh, or their functions or maybe we can uh, divide or categorized between based on the capacity they have capacity of their 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 processors their their, their resources and all so let's start with uh, based on performance and uh, functionality of those devices uh, so first one we have a real time embedded system so in a real uh, time embedded system we can define as a system uh, which uh, gives a required input output uh, in a particular time uh, that 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 provide uh, in in you know uh, in a, that in time limit that the time uh, all 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 uh, output uh, are 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 strictly uh, <clears throat> connected to a deadline so it provide the output in a particular time so uh, these we can say these devices uh, you know uh, embedded devices follow a strict uh, uh, timeline strict deadlines to complete a task also uh, we can uh, we can uh, further uh, classif uh, classify these real time systems into two uh, different different uh, kinds that first one we can say real time uh, embedded system second uh, we can say hard real time system um, so a, a software uh, time system, uh, the, the deadline, of course, uh, the task is related to that uh, deadline. Uh, it must complete the task in, in, in that deadline, but, uh, uh, but a, a slight delay can be acceptable, right? Uh, <clears throat> on the other hand, a, a hard, hard real-time system, 
where where uh, the any kind of delay or interval may be not accepted well at all so if we talk about a example of a hard real time uh, we have missile system uh, we have braking system of vehicle uh, we have pacemakers so the, 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 there is no scope for any delay uh, let let uh, let uh, consider a scenario where where a pacemaker of of any human being uh, uh, that just got stuck and uh, provide output and uh, or maybe a functionality after two or three seconds so you you can imagine what will uh, what will happen with with uh, that person right bilkul dilli dhadakna band ho jayega so so uh, these are the some examples for real time system as as same as a missile uh, uh, missile system it uh, of, of course we require a real time otherwise a slight delay in nanosecond can change the target right uh, a soft real time system uh, uh, is as we discussed that a, a slight delay can be acceptable okay where uh, that like if if we, if we, if you press a uh, button in a microwave uh, it if it start with some some delay it will be acceptable because there is no uh, no uh, fear of loss any loss any loss of human life or maybe any property and like 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 that okay now a uh, second type of uh, system we have is a stand alone system uh, a, a, a stand alone system is a kind of system which uh, uh, which you know uh, uh, that, that uh, do not require a host system or do not uh, require lot of components right it it just uh, takes some inputs from uh, outside world and provides output uh, uh, <clears throat> so uh, just uh, I, I i have to take a pause uh, just a second so if we talk about the examples of stand alone system we have uh, we have like uh, mp3 players we have digital cameras uh, we have uh, video game consoles uh, microwave ovens all all these are uh, we can say example of stand alone systems uh, now next one we have a network embedded system uh, so these kind of systems are uh, related to net uh, to network or uh, that that assess resources over network so uh, that network can be lan wan or maybe internet so uh, they they can be connected through wirelessly or maybe wireless so uh, these type of embedded system uh, uh, are really very fast uh, uh, growing area and uh, you know lot of applications uh, right now we have that that uh, are good example of uh, a network system for example our uh, routers uh, switches our uh, wifi device and all are uh, all are uh, the example of embedded system a home home security system we can consider as a network embedded system that the device is connected uh, through i think uh, there was some question but uh, i am on full screen so i missed that yes sir uh, there is a question uh, what about output power rating of embedded system this is from nikita rajpurohit okay uh, so you know if uh, if the device that we we provide output to a device if the if the rating of that device is in in some uh, milliwatt and all uh, uh, the, we we can connect directly to a embedded system but in case of uh, that uh, a device required more power than we need to use some relays and all uh, for example uh, let's take a example of washing machine so the motor of that washing machine require uh, 230 volt and all so a embedded system is connected with a relay so it provides some uh, milliwatt uh, signal to that relay and it it will act and uh, provide uh, uh, the 230 volt to that uh, that motor so again it's it it depends on uh, 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 some task specific uh, applications i 
i hope it clarifies uh, your uh, query nikita okay thank you okay uh, so uh, the last in uh, in in the category of uh, performance and function we have a mobile embedded system uh, no, so this one is not a mobile phone or a cell phone. Uh, mobile, uh, the meaning of mobile here is to uh, portability. So oh, portable devices like, uh, of course, cell phone. Cell phone is a portable device. That's why we call it mobile. So a cell phone, a digital camera, MP3 players, or PDA, uh, a personal digital assistants, and uh, all those are the examples of uh, mobile <laughs> embedded systems. So. Uh, next, uh, we, we can, uh, like, as we discussed, uh, categorized on the base of capacity of their, their processor. So we have uh, three uh, uh, of them, like first one, we have a small scale, second, we have a medium scale, and then sophisticated embedded system. First, we will discuss uh, a small scale embedded system. Now, a, a small scale embedded system are we can say entry level system in which uh, a small 8 bit or maybe a 16 bit uh, a, a microcontroller is used so uh, that 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 uh, microcontroller have very limited resources like rom ram and processing speed right so uh, for, for, for development of these uh, small scale embedded system we require uh, ide that is uh, you know integrated development environment and uh, that a, a simple C language and sometimes a embedded C language is used for for code. Um, um, sometimes assembly language is also used for coding um, for such type of embedded systems. And uh, if we talk about ID, we can use NetBeans, uh, Eclipse, and all. So we can code uh, code uh, by using these these ID environments, and we can uh, embed that code inside that microcontroller. So if we talk about the complexity, complexity these are the lowest level uh, we can say in, 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 in form of complexity. They, these are very simple one. Uh, they, they are very little, uh, little in size, little had hardware or software is there. And mostly uh, these, these are uh, battery operated devices. So a good example is we can say our digital watch is a good example. Uh, and they, they work on small uh, power backup. Also, uh, the, the power dissipation uh, is, is also very limited because they have to run continuously throughout the year or maybe for their whole life. Okay. So, next, uh, now we have, uh, a, 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 we can say a bigger version of uh, that uh, small scale that we call it a medium scale embedded system. So in a medium scale embedded system, uh, you know, consists uh, a 16 bit or a, a, a 32 bit microcontroller or maybe a digital signal processors, uh, digital signal processor, those, uh, those are especially uh, provide some analog or uh, may, maybe some uh, like uh, voice or maybe some image processing uh, required so that the digital signal processors are used. Or, uh, or reduce instruction set uh, computers. So uh, and the, the, there are, uh, we can say, uh, have more, more computing power if we compare with a small scale, but uh, still uh, the, the size, size is comparatively very low if we compare with the sophisticated embedded system. Uh, the that, that advantage of medium scale embedded system uh, is that they are they are uh, faster than small scale uh, small scale systems due to the uh, bits uh, bits of processors they have okay uh, a small scale having 8 bit or 32 bit but in case of uh, medium scale we have 16 bit and 32 bit uh, uh microcontrollers are there so we 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 we, we, uh, we can use these kind of uh, uh processors in applications where we requires we require a faster speed so embedded uh, devices having these kind of uh, processors are uh, in 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 category of medium scale embedded systems 
Uh, so if we if we if we talk about the development of these embedded software, so uh, we, the main programming tools uh, are we can say C, C plus plus, even Java, uh, Visual C plus uh, plus uh, are used to 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 uh, design and develop codes. Also, uh, that uh, RTOS can be implemented on these systems. Uh, means a, a real time operating system can be can be embedded in, inside these uh, small and medium scale embedded systems. Uh, so um, also the, at the time of uh, development, uh, developer have to uh, need the different kind of uh, software tools like assembler, compiler, debuggers and all uh, to, to, to encode that, to, to, to code, code that uh, small uh, coding or program for these kind of embedded uh, medium scale embedded systems. Uh, next, we have sophisticated embedded system. So, uh, in 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 sophisticated, we can say the highest level of uh, complexity in case of hardware and uh, software. Both have both have higher complexity than uh, previous embedded system. Uh, so, uh, in 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 these kind of system, the speed is a major concern, right? So if if we want to uh, want to design a, a system which is related to provide a real time uh, for to, to to design for a real time application, we need to use sophisticated operating system, sophisticated embedded system, and uh, so of course uh, RTOS can be implemented uh, on this system very easily and. Uh, uh, not only that, uh, they are uh, designed on, uh, you know, uh, on both uh, hardware and software. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, we, we need to optimize both hardware and software uh, so that they, they perform, they, they... Uh, again, uh, there was a question, uh, but I missed, so I have to exit from a full screen mode. Uh, Pushpinder sir, uh, can you repeat that question for me? Yeah, I will repeat that question. Uh, what about the microprocessor limits in terms of small scale hybrid system, medium and large? Uh, you know, uh, micro uh, uh, limits of microprocessor or uh, microcontroller. I think uh, Dr. Navin Rathi he wants to ask uh, what is the problem, uh, like why we cannot uh, go for small or uh, medium scale embedded system with microprocessor. Uh, sir, uh, reason is that that uh, microprocessors are mostly uh, you know power hungry devices. Uh, we can uh, we can say those devices are monsters. They they consume lot of powers. Uh, not only power, uh, they 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 dissipate uh, heat also. So it depends uh, on the a, a, a application specific. For example, uh, a, 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 for example, a Wi-Fi router. So a wire, wire router is designed to work continuously throughout the year. Uh, uh, so if we use a processor that consume a lot of power, uh, which generate a lot of heat, so it, it can melt that uh, hardware or it can melt itself uh, if, 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 if we continuously use it. Uh, otherwise, we have to provide some, some cooling function to it or maybe some heat sink. So it will increase the size, or maybe it it will increase the overall design or the consumption of power and all. So uh, it all depends on application specific. Uh, I, I hope I, I am clear to you, sir. Uh, I, want, I, I will add some more thing, uh, Doctor Ati. Uh, this is a microcontroller uh, for uh, any uh, particular task. We also need some memory. And uh, microprocessor doesn't have their internal memory, uh, some room where we can store that program itself. 
So uh, one more thing is uh, microprocessor has to uh, be uh, with some input output interfacing. So we cannot directly interface the system. But yes, uh, in aeroplane combustion engine control, uh, there may be some different sort of activity where we, we are able to provide some external memory. So, uh, or some external uh, interfacing devices, like here we are having some driver PCBs and uh, driver units. So that sort of arrangement, because there is a very small difference between microprocessor and microcontrollers. I think uh, this is okay. Yes, uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, and uh, of course, I will cover uh, this one in, in slide number 21. Where will where we will compare microprocessors and microcontroller? So uh, where to use? Of course, we we can use uh, uh, it. But you know, for example, uh, if 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 I if I uh, give you example daily life example. For example, you you, you want to uh, purchase a a bag of. Uh, bag of uh, we can say maybe a sugar and all a 50 kg of bag uh, from from market so your your car is sufficient to carry that bag right but if you if you want to purchase a 50 bags from uh, market then you have to uh, if you use that your your car you 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 have to uh, you have to uh, you know uh, 50 times uh, you have to round 50 times to market to carry all those bags if we consider uh, uh, one bag per trip right because uh, we, we we are considering that car is a very small kind of uh, a microcontroller or a small chip so it carries some small uh, it can it can do some small operations and uh, like that so so uh, and and of course if if for example if you want to purchase uh, 500 bags of sugar from market so so you you might require a truck for it right right so a large a large processor or may may dedicated uh, kind of that that having external resources will be more useful of course you can do through your car also but you have to uh, you have to make uh, 500 trips to to transport those bags from market to your home. So, uh, of course, we will cover in uh, uh, slide number 21 uh, in detail. So, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, next one we have a processor. So, of course, um, a processor, uh, you know, is a, is a, we can say is a chip, mostly, uh, uh, of course, all are chips. So, is a chip uh, a logical circuit uh, that uh, responds or uh, that uh, process on, on on some basic instructions provided to it on the on the on the input or the data that is provided to it, and it will process on that data uh, on 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 the on the predefined codes by by fetching, decoding, executing, and write back to the memory and all and provide output right uh, it it contains some you know uh, alu units arithmetic arithmetic logic units and uh, C, uh, control units and it have some uh, additional hardware as well so uh, so uh, we can say that a processor uh, we can uh, that is essential units or important units are like a control unit and execution units so let's see the different types of processor so first we will we will discuss the uh, general purpose processors gpp so first one we have a microprocessor so uh, a, a, a microprocessor uh, of course we will uh, discuss in detail uh, in general purpose we have microprocessors microcontroller now embedded processors digital signal processor that is known as dsp like right and uh, then we have some application specific system processors uh, and the last one we have multiprocessors uh, system uh, the more than one processor in a system by using some general uh, purpose processors now uh, let's see one by one so a, a microprocessor uh, again a chip is a, a, a semiconductor devices we also call it a computer on a chip um, but not a complete computer right and uh, of course it 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 contain uh, uh, that uh, 
<coughs> processing unit, arithmetic uh, logic unit, uh, some some counters and uh, some registers, uh, uh, timing circuits, uh, interrupt circuits uh, like that, right? So here you can see some uh, some examples, some some name of various processes by different different companies. Like uh, I I I think everyone know about Intel, uh, which produce. Um, uh, uh, like uh, a processor that uh, having every computer right now, and uh, like uh, more Motorola than Glog. There, there, there are a lot of uh, companies. AMD. The, the all are all are uh, manufacturing or producing uh, microprocessors. Uh, next one we have microcontroller. So uh, again, we can say a, a functional computer on a on a on a chip uh, that again contain a processor, memory. Uh, maybe programmable input output ports. Uh, programmable means we we can use those ports uh, for input as well as for outputs and, and like that. So uh, it have very small amount of um, uh, storage in form of RAM or maybe uh, in form of memory and other other uh, devices. And also uh, the the devices are capable for uh, inputs and outputs. So we will we will uh, it it might uh, again a question is that uh, what is the difference between a microprocessor and microcontroller and and there was a good questions like the uh, why not to use microprocessor or uh, we can use a microprocessor in place of microcontroller and all right so so uh, let's see. So if we talk about uh, a microprocessor, a microprocessor is the heart of a computer system. Uh, in, I, I mean a, a big system. And uh, if we talk about microcontroller, on the other hand, a microcontroller is the heart of an embedded system or a small system. So we can say a, a difference is here. Now, um, the biggest difference is that in microprocessor, it contain only processing units, right? So there, there is no memory inside it. There is no input output components in there. So we need to connect it externally. And to connect it, we require some uh, some board, some platform, like we call it a motherboard. Also, the, 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 that motherboard contain all the system buses to connect these uh, devices with the processor, right? So on the on the other hand, uh, we have microcontroller, which include processor along with the memory in internal memory as well as input output uh, uh, components inside inside that uh, internal circuit. So the, in case of microcontroller, we just need to provide just input and we we can get output from that uh, device, right? So this this one is the biggest. Uh, difference between them. The next one that we we cannot use a, a, a microprocessor in a compact system. The reason is that uh, we discussed that a, a microprocessor uh, require more uh, power. Uh, also, it, it is very fast, fast enough. So that that computation speed generate lot of heats. Uh, if if we do not provide some cooling. Uh, Heat, uh, cooling uh, mechanism to it uh, in form of heat sinks or maybe some cooling fan so it can melt itself or it can damage the uh, whole circuitry so we, we we cannot use in a compact system uh, on the other hand embedded uh, systems like having microcontroller are very compact so we can use uh, in in small uh, space and like that so uh, like uh, i hope everybody knows about uh, ecu or uh, a system that uh, having uh, most modern cars nowadays uh, that, that that computer system uh, is in very small in size uh, of course if we use if you use a, a large system having a microprocessor then uh, it is hard to fit inside inside that car right so uh, it, it is again a task specific uh, feature a task specific constraint that uh, where we have to use microprocessor and where we has have to use a microcontroller and uh, also uh, also if if you use a system that consume lot of power 
then uh, you, your your battery of your car will dead within few few days or maybe in few few hours because it it it, it will consume continuous power from your car uh, right so uh, you, you might have heard that in corona lockdown lot of lot of uh, vehicles required a new new battery because their 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 security system uh, drain all the battery and the, the the, the the battery will completely uh, dead uh, was dead uh, now uh, let's come to the next point uh, that is uh, that uh, of, of course we already discussed on it that uh, due to the external components that the total power consumption is very high okay so so the uh, a microprocessor is not a ideal uh, processor uh, for the devices uh, who, which are running on stored powers like batteries or maybe on on on, on very small battery backup right uh, for example uh, if we need to change change a battery uh, after few few hours uh, we, it will uh, not a good choice uh, uh, like that okay um, uh, so uh, next, uh, on the other hand, a microcontroller. Uh, th there are uh, very few external components. Also, the power consumption is very less. So we we can use or we 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 are using it uh, on the devices uh, who are running on stored power like batteries or maybe a small battery with a small battery backup. <laughs> next, uh, that. We have to use external buses to interface all the external components and peripheral uh, to 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 connect with the microprocessor. But uh, on the other hand, my, my microcontroller uh, use internal controlling buses. All all are uh, inside that single uh, single uh, circuit, so they, they they do not require external buses for their connectivity. Now, uh, next one uh, we have uh, that we discussed that a microprocessor, uh, uh, you know, runs on very high speed, but microcontrollers run on slow speed if we compare with the microprocessors. Uh, also, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, microcontrollers having a, ver a variety of range, uh, the having say, from slow to fast enough, right? The, again, a a task specific or a maybe application specific uh, according uh, <clears throat> now uh, in 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 uh, in the devices uh, having microprocessors uh, they 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 can be used for a general purpose applications and uh, we we can we can handle large amount of data but in case of microcontroller it used for application specific system uh, which which designed to perform some a specific task or or, uh, <clears throat> or a, a single task only. So and the last one, and uh, uh, Pushpender sir, uh, can you please repeat it for me again? It uh, that 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 uh, question disappears from my uh, screen. This is, uh, yes, uh, Dr. Naveen has asked. So there can be trade off uh, between the two as other parameters are overruling this constraint. We have to the optimization technique for optimum power efficiency chips designed for the cell. Yes, it is uh, not a question, but it is, uh, we are studying, I think it's very true. But yes, we have to go for some optimization between uh, the facility and the uh, resources, maybe power efficient system that you can identify. So this is basically raised between that, that, that speed and the power dissipation. Power dissipation is uh, proportional to square of the frequency. Like if you, if you are using 8 uh, megahertz microcontroller and if you go for 16 megahertz, Microcontroller, your power uh, dissipation between four times. So it's up to you what the resources we have. Like if we have uh, enough uh, resources, or we do require, like in uh, you have said that in aeroplane uh, combustion engines or some very very important or very very uh, sensitive operations where we have 
to have some very uh, ultimate speed. In that case, we have to go for some uh, putting mechanism or some uh, where we can deal with the power dissipation. We can we should be able to cover this problem. So you have said very right. Okay, uh, and uh, in, in in last slides, uh, that that optimization will also cover. That yeah. we will also cover that topic. Uh, so moving ahead, uh, next uh, we have embedded processors. So uh, a embedded processor, uh, you know, uh, a, a kind of special, uh, we can say either in in form of a microprocessor or a microcontroller, that is uh, designed. Uh, designed uh, <clears throat> into a system to control some, you know, electrical or maybe mechanical functions. Uh, so embedded processors are usually designed uh, uh, designed for some uh, specific task. A, a, we can say special purpose processors. Okay, where where we required a fast processing, a fast context uh, switching, and uh, where where uh, small operations are required. So so, so we can say that. As as we have uh, specially designed software for a specific task, or we have some specific uh, application, same as we have a specific processor for a, any task that that we can call it a embedded processor. So these are some examples. These are the names of some processors. Uh, next one we have a digital signal processor. So a digital signal processor is a kind of uh, processor that is uh, required mostly for uh, applications such as, such as you know uh, audio processing video processing uh, mostly for uh, uh, you know telecommunication devices like uh, our mobile phone phones having dsp processor to process our video and all because they 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 provide a faster uh, input output uh, or faster uh, processing speed for such kind of applications uh, that, that are again we can say these uh, these are a, a kind of task specific processors uh, uh, <clears throat> then uh, we have uh, some application specific processors again uh, the, these kind of processors are uh, dedicated to some task to provide some faster solution now uh, uh, the difference between the this one and the previous one is that uh, that these kind of application specific processor are used uh, are, can be used in place of uh, softwares so we we can replace software uh, in in a, with the hardware to 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 provide more faster solution or more dedicated solution or we can say to for a for a real time system uh, where, where, where delay is not acceptable and all so a example can be a, a set top processor a set top box processor so where uh, where in place of uh, software that that work that is we can we can do by software can be that can be uh, processed by that uh, that kind of system uh, I, I think there was some question from uh, Hello, uh, sir, are you there? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I. Yeah, this is a, sir, can we call analog signal processors from black fin as embedded processor or, uh, uh, or ASP? So, Sir, I'm not uh, getting. Uh, le let me start my uh, chat window. Uh, sir, Dr. Uh, Naveen Rati, sir, uh, 
we can uh, call uh, any processor a application specific processor if that if that processor is uh, used to replace the software coding for that uh, embedded device so uh, you know uh, that uh, you know there is a trade off between uh, a hardware and a software so we we can uh, perform several tasks through uh, some software coding uh, as well as we 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 can implement we can process uh, you know by hardware as well but if we if we remove that uh, software part and we use some processor to process that part we call it a application specific processor so the, if if that analog signal processor is used for for to to replace that code from that system we can call it uh, a, a application specific processor okay uh, thank you sir so let me uh, close my chat window and i have to start in full screen mode okay ah so uh, next uh, we have uh, multi processors uh, uh, then uh, that means uh, that uh, when when a single processor does not meet the needs of different task uh, for example uh, uh, your 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 general purpose system if if i say so in in your general purpose system there there is a is a processor as well as there is a if, if there is a graphic card also that that graphic card having a a, a different process processor we we, we call it uh, right so so the task or the process that 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 can be done by that processor is shifted to that uh, that that uh, graphic driver or that graphic processor uh, so so there uh, when we use multiple processor to per process uh, different different task we, we uh, we 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 can call it uh, mostly we do these things to 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 provide uh, more uh, performance for faster operations and all right uh, for example in our mobile phones we have a processor along with a dsp processor that that, that process on analog uh, audio video uh, signals right uh, here are some examples like uh, a video conference system having multiple processors right so a processor for uh, for a graphical user interface also a processor for to process video to process audio and all to to provide maximum processor so all processor are uh, processors work their task uh, uh, and they are synchronized to to obtain maximum or to obtain uh, <clears throat> performance right now uh, other hardwares uh, so not only the uh, processors or microcontrollers or maybe ram Can't or you please uh, have a full screen uh, oh I, i'm sorry i forgot it actually i am using two uh, systems uh, so because uh, you know uh, electricity failure is uh, very common in my area and uh, one of uh, system is a, a system having only 2 gb ram so a little bit slower yes okay, thank you thank you so uh yes so let's uh, talk about some other hardwares of course uh, these hardwares uh, might be according to application specific we need not to use all these hardwares for a embedded system now what are these hardwares for example uh, power sources clock oscillators real real time clocks uh, reset circuits power up reset watchdog timers uh, memory input output ports interrupt handler uh, anal converters the digital to analog or maybe analog to digital with some display units and maybe some input units in form of keypad or maybe a keyboard so all are task specific for example uh, if we have a if if we have a door lock a digital door lock on our our uh, home 
uh, we need to we need to press some uh, some four digit or maybe six digit input to it to unlock it so we require a keypad or keyboard uh, or maybe we can talk about a, a good example of embedded system that is uh, atm machines so atm machines have uh, keypads to to enter pin number or maybe amount for uh, withdrawal and all uh, it, it doesn't necessary to use keypad for all devices like uh, our uh, routers and all uh, do not have keypads right but uh, for example, our uh, microwave oven have keypad, our um, uh, it, it fully automatic washing machines have keypad and all. So these are task specific, uh, as well as uh, display. So uh, if we talk about display, uh, maybe a LCD display in, in form of our a music system in a car, or maybe a LED display, for example, our routers, or maybe, maybe for our uh, washing machine or, uh, some uh, other devices like uh, they have ju just LED display which shows uh, the, the current state or some indication in form of colors, right? Uh, so, so here we have some uh, reset circuits and timer as well. So, you know, so, so some, some of the applications of embedded systems uh, are uh, hard to assess by humans, right? Uh, for example, uh, a, a, a telecommunication uh, system over a tower uh, or maybe a maybe a a, a satellite uh, satellite system or maybe a like a a, a, a robot uh, or maybe a, a rand rover type uh, devices we send it to a moon or maybe on mars uh, so if what what happen if they they stuck or they they they, they got hanged so the, the, the nobody is there to reset and all right so we, we have to use a, a watchdog timer uh, reset uh, uh, hardware for those devices. So in case of uh, in case of uh, some uh, uh, you know uh, uh, hang or uh, that kind of situation, it will automatically reset that uh, machine after uh, that that provided time or uh, that that uh, that time uh, that is designed for. Okay, uh, maybe a real time clock uh, required for a real time uh, embedded system and all. And uh, of course, uh, uh, power source, uh, uh, again, a task specific, like in some of devices, we, we have a, a three volt power source, maybe some of devices are working or five volt power sources, for example, our, our USB devices and all. Some of are working on 12 volt and maybe or 24 volt and some of our are working working on 2 to 230 volt uh, of course that 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 is converted it into again dc but so all other hardwares are time specific so we we, we have to use we, we can use according to our requirement okay now uh, let's come to the topic that is embedded system design process so to to to, to design a embedded systems there are few few stages few steps we need to we need to take care or according to we have to follow to, to design a process. So first we need to determine the, the requirement of the, of the, we have to re, uh, determine the, all the requirements. Then we, we, we have to uh, select the architecture. We need to design that system architecture. Also, if that, that device is, uh, uh, that device required some uh, OS or some uh, some coding. Then we need to select it according to it. Uh, of course, we will discuss it on detail, and uh, we have to choose processor. Uh, again, uh, the, the, this that that question will cover in, in the, this uh, part again. Then uh, we have to choose the right uh, development platform. Then we need to code. Uh, for for that application of course we need to optimize it also then we need to verify on the host, host system and then in the last we need to verify and we need to test it on target system in the end we will discuss the challenges as well okay now uh, uh, you know so designing uh, of uh, hardware uh, for embedded system uh, again uh, we can say quite challenging so because uh, the, the designer uh, have to be very careful for a for for lot of reasons right 
uh, like like a system uh, for example a, a washing machine a microwave so they are they are uh, supposed to do just one job like uh, cooking and washing so uh, a designer must ensure that uh, quality and stability of the design and all right uh, uh that the design must be very stable and reliable that when whenever you switch it on it will it will it will respond as as soon as uh, as soon as you switch it on or you start it right um also it required to work very smoothly uh, for example uh, uh, if if you if you if you press a start button on 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 your washing machine it will it will start uh, or behave very smoothly after that there is no need for any human interaction okay so 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 designing hardware as well designing software uh, we systems required a deep understanding of the real world as well as uh, of course for hardware and for software and so so developer uh, of embedded systems have to design a low cost and uh, low cost device a high performance devices and uh, a, of course a mo one more concern is there that is uh, reduce uh, uh, and the time to market uh, should be also a minimum we will discuss it later what is it now if we talk about a uh, requirement so the that requirement can be a functional requirement or it can be a non functional requirement so uh, so if we talk about a functional requirement so uh, it is a multi function device or maybe a, a multi mode device or maybe a, a stand alone or maybe what kind of function will be of that device we have to we have to think according to it because every every device every task uh, specific have uh, you know uh, uh, different kind of requirements now the non functional requirements we have the size of that uh, device uh, the cost uh, also the weight is uh, not weight, weight of that device and all these are sometimes uh, play a very crucial role right so uh, why size because sometimes that that system must be must be uh, small enough to be placed uh, inside uh, inside a large system and like that so we we require the size as well uh, let me let me give you a, a a good example of this one is that uh, i hope all of you uh, know about the battery of uh, iphone 11 so you know designer have to have to make uh, or have to change the battery of iphone 11 into l shape uh, because because the remaining hardware or of that uh, that device uh, to 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 balance that hardware uh, that that uh, battery <clears throat> was re redesigned to fit in inside that system uh, that that uh, re that required a large battery but if if we if we use a large rect uh, a square battery it it will uh, it will consume lot of spaces that that, that is uh, required by the the main board of that uh, iphone and like that so they have to redesign it into a l shaped battery okay now uh, cost again uh, cost is also you know if 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 product is very costly then uh, then that that uh, nobody will purchase it or otherwise it, the, the sale will reduce so the cost is also uh, that that uh, requirement if we decrease cost it will it will affect some other constraints as well like uh, if if we we want to reduce cost then we have to use some uh, cheap uh, cheap uh, processor for it cheap microcontroller for it but if you use that one it will it will uh, pr produce a laggy response or it will uh, reduce the overall uh, efficiency of that product so all are connected but we have to we have to uh, we have to uh, take care of all of these uh, and now uh, uh, selecting the hardware components uh, of for a embedded system again uh, a, a task specific job so we we have to the designer have to select all the components according to the applications all the external uh, components or interfaces all the input devices or maybe output devices uh, the all are depends according to that uh, specific um, requirements okay uh, uh, 
let me let me use a, another example uh, like a uh, lot of uh, processor are uh, you know capable to produce a display of uh, only uh, you know 720p like that they, they are not able to produce a full hd display so if if uh, someone wants to develop a, a, a embedded device which require a require a full hd uh, display output then uh, then a processor that is capable to produce a a full hd uh, output will require okay so that that hardware uh, also uh, dependent on each other and uh, and all so uh, also there there are uh, there are alternative hardware hardwares or uh, also available maybe maybe some of uh, the, or some of them cost just uh, just a 10 rupees or maybe some of the same same uh, not same but uh, similar functionality hardware uh, having uh, maybe cost of more than in thousands or maybe in lakhs so we have developers have to keep in mind all those things now uh, so designing uh, uh, the architecture for that uh, that embedded system again there are there are lot of uh, uh, things to keep in mind that, uh, the, that that whether the system is a real time system or just a, a normal system because if if a, a real system if if the developer have to design a real time system, a real time uh, system then a real time operating system will be needed so if a real time operating system uh, have to install in it we require a large memory uh, for it so either we have to use some uh, maybe a microprocessor or we if we want to use some microcontroller then a microcontroller uh, having a memory large enough that can contain uh, a real time operating system in it so that we can embed uh, that operating system inside the chip and all and not only some uh, extra hardware or also required for a real time system sometimes we have to replace that uh, hardware uh, we have to replace that software uh, by a hardware to to produce optimal result and all not only that again uh, then power consumption and the cost and size again there is uh, uh, <clears throat> our uh, main constraints again so as we discussed that we, if we need a real time os then we require a a, a, a large um, a processor for it right we, we cannot use a 8 bit microcontroller to to use a, a real time os for it so if we use a large processor then it will of course consume um, more power of course it will dissipate more heat then we require some cooling function to it we we have to provide some more battery backup to it and also all all are dependent on each other and and uh, the designer must have to think according to it now uh, next uh, how to choose a operating system if required so of course we have a variety of uh, os uh, are there so if if we require a real time os system we can choose a, a, a real time if if the application is not uh, related to in uh, real time uh, then we can we can uh, use a non real time os or maybe a small codes so we have some other options and all because because using a, a real time operating system for non real time application is not a, a good idea why because we already we discussed that if we use a real time os then we require lot of uh, resources lot of uh, other other peripheral uh, things or components that will increase the cost of course it will increase the size we we have to install some more things like uh, uh, heat sinks and all like, like that so uh, choosing processor again uh, discuss, we discuss it also depends on the application specific so if we if we are using a real time os then we have to use a processor according you according to it uh, otherwise other as for example we we are we are uh, a designer is uh, designing a processor for some uh, voice or video applications then uh, uh, then a digital signal processor must be used along with a microcontroller or maybe a microprocessor to provide faster and uh, smoothly operations so variety of uh, variety of uh, processors microcontrollers and digital signal processors are 
available uh, that, that 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 can be choose uh, that can be chosen according to the that requirement and uh, applications so and after that uh, that uh, all these uh, the things uh, we need to choose the language we need to choose the development tools according to it if we if we require a require a real time os or a dedicated uh, uh, coding for it we require id environment for it we we have to code it into a, a language that will provide optimal result and all uh, otherwise we can uh, we can we can use a small code right <clears throat> like that so now uh, come to the coding and implementation uh, part of uh, the embedded system so as we discussed that uh, you know assembly language c language object oriented languages like c++ java um, <clears throat> mostly used for the coding part and in which you you can see that uh, c language or maybe a embedded c language is you know most popular to design a, a embedded application not only designing the application uh, we we require to <clears throat> we require to optimize uh, optimize that uh, code as well uh, because uh, <clears throat> that that limitation of uh, memory limitation of processing speed and all are um, uh, are in a, in in a form of limited okay uh, if if we compare with uh, you know traditional uh, not traditional like for example our uh, like laptops pcs uh, so uh, they they have uh, they have large number of memories a, a, a good processor in it and so the so <clears throat> the, 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 there is no there is there is no lack of resources but in case of embedded devices uh, where where all all are tightly tightly uh, limited and we have to use every every inch of every uh, part of that system every every software of that system so we need to optimize that code to a minimal uh, line of codes so it can be it can be fit easily it can be easily embedded in that and the the instructions the set of instructions also sh should be uh, minimum so it can process uh, fast enough and uh, fulfill the requirements all the requirements okay also uh, if the line of code uh, is minimum then it will dissipate uh, less heat because that that heat is uh, as 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 dr rahul raj sir said that uh, proportional to the instructions or you know processing so if if processor is processing more it will it will generate uh, more heat uh, it multiplies heat so uh, that uh, otherwise we require some cooling function for it so we require uh, optimization code for it also next we have implementation so for implementation uh, of that code into a hardware but before that uh, a developer must have to verify or must have to test that hardware uh, that, sorry that software uh, on a on a host system and it should be it should be test on initial stages in the beginning stage, uh, stages uh, at the host system so so that host system is used to test hardware independent codes so the, the, those 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 are not dependent can be tested tested all on the host system and uh, for testing a simulator can be used now uh, to uh, to test on a target Imanju. yes imanju yes. what are the different development tools open source tools uh sir like we have uh, netbeans we have eclipse and we have uh, these kind of id environments like kyle if you if you heard about so th these are some uh, some tools okay i think that is going to be covered in the subsequent lab okay okay thank yeah, you yeah. yes uh, so next uh, we have a recent trends uh, uh, in the in the area area of uh, embedded system uh, so now you know uh, <clears throat> so that uh, that that <clears throat> that uh, 
uh, sorry for interruption. So, uh, so due to the de development in uh, you know microelectronics uh, and the availability of a lot of uh, you know alternatives of uh, uh, devices and processors and all other uh, things uh, that uh, that that that. That architecture is also uh, going to be changed in a few years. Uh, if 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 we look uh, forward, uh, then that uh, that eight bit or sixteen bit uh, microcontroller are are very popular to to use to design a a um, embedded devices. But uh, then in future, that the thirty two bit and maybe a sixty four bit architecture or maybe a processor will use more because uh, now, nowadays uh, everyone want uh, a, for a faster speed and and uh, to want to process more uh, through their embedded system and all so uh, we can say that uh, like embedded technologies are e evolving and they are performing faster becoming uh, more compact if we compare with uh, old uh, machines and uh, the, again costing less less uh, now uh, for example, like a processor, uh, uh, that 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 a device with a processor, graphic processor that can be held in 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 hand, uh, you can purchase in 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 few few thousand rupees, right? And uh, of course, it it can it can do some artificial uh, uh, task as well, like um, some AI AI task and maybe a machine a machine learning task and all. Uh, so uh, the cost is also reducing day by day, and uh, that technologies will uh, continue to grow. Uh, and that uh, even even uh, in in the pandemic of uh, like COVID 19, 19 uh, it might uh, alter the path, but uh, it will it will not stop the, the expansion uh, uh, and development of uh, embedded devices. So. Uh, I think we will see some more uh, explosive growth in in the area of uh, embedded uh, system and in the area of uh, the devices that are that are wirelessly connected uh, fast fast embedded devices that can that can uh, uh, perform some AI task as well. We will uh, face some uh, cyber attacks and uh, maybe we will we will find out some counter attacks solution for those attacks. And uh, maybe some more sophisticated uh, virtual uh, virtuality uh, virtual devices and like like that. So, <clears throat> so we we <clears throat> so uh, uh, this uh, this diagram shows that the uh, the processor market uh, according to year uh, 2010, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you you can see here that a 32-bit microprocessor, uh, the use of a 32-bit microprocessor is increasing, uh, while the the 8-bit use of 8-bit microprocessor is decreasing decreasing day by day. So we we can say that uh, that 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 devices are now uh, powerful enough that that perform more tasks and all. So, if we talk about processors in uh, mar processor market in India, so you can see that, uh, of course, in every area, the uh, the, uh, the requirement the, uh, the is increasing uh, according the, the, by, uh, by the year by year. And uh, one thing is that you can see that uh, the the consumption in uh, industrial is not uh, uh, not not growing so much because uh, already industry is using lot of embedded devices into it but in 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 case of uh, like healthcare healthcare automotive and uh, uh, <clears throat> consumer electro electronics the you know the the consumption of uh, the processor is increasing uh, year by year uh, so uh, this shows the growing demand for embedded uh, processors. So, uh, uh, like, uh, so that 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 blue uh, blue uh, color shows the consumer uh, 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 processor that are used for uh, consumer applications. Some uh, green shows that automotive uh, for applications, then industrial, and then others. 
so here you can see that they are they are using day by day and it 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 converts a, 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 in, into a million dollar industry a, that uh, we can say embedded system is now a million dollar industry and the expected uh, uh, increase in the sales is roughly 15% every year now uh, sir so design challenges uh, of a embedded system so uh, these are some challenges uh, while designing a embedded system although we have discussed uh, on some uh, you know on in the, in the phase of designing but uh, the, here are few more uh, challenges in the in, in form of design and all so first of all we have uh, low stability oh, sorry uh, so the, f the first uh, we have the st stability so that this one is the major concern for a embedded uh, device you know uh, it, it it is a very important so uh, we can say like unexpected behavior from a embedded system is unacceptable right and it it can cause some serious risk also to to end user uh, again we can take that example of a car braking system so uh, whatever uh, whatever is the condition of uh, weather or maybe uh, outer physical world it 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 supposed to do that task all that that is designed for so a slight delay can be very dangerous right so uh, uh, because uh, a embedded system have to work uh, in heat uh, in vibration in shocks uh, like a, that, that car braking system have all those things uh, heat engine heat is there vibration is there shocks is there um, although power fluctuation is not there but some of the devices also works in power fluctuations uh, rf interfaces uh, interference is there and then uh, maybe lightning uh, like uh, the, the communication uh, embedded devices on towers they face uh, lightning problem as well uh, water corrosion physical abuse and all those uh, the things have to face by all the all those uh, embedded systems so it it should be a stable enough to perform a smooth uh, behavior all the time uh, the next one we have safety so, so again a safety is must have feature for um, for a embedded uh, system uh, like uh, because the primary applications or uh, devices are associated with the human life right uh, mostly devices are uh, we can say in nearby our uh, in daily use and also it should uh, be safe enough to use for example a microwave oven we can say a washing machine even can be a dangerous sometimes uh, like so it should be safe enough to use by end user uh, so it, again a design challenge then uh, security of course uh, although although uh, embedded system uh, uh, we can say kind of a standalone device not not same as iot device okay maybe maybe a question come into your mind that uh, what is what is the difference uh, between a embedded uh, device and a iot device so i must say that a, a iot device is is a is a is a device that that, that a, a network a network of uh, devices or in one sentence i can say like uh, uh, embedded system is a subset of iot so a, a internet of things or iot is a network of uh, interconnected uh, objects interconnected uh, uh, things uh, things here means uh, that devices or objects as they 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 collect uh, data from their sensors they transfer data to the, their nearby devices or to maybe to a server and then that is attached to the, that uh, <clears throat> that network and all so uh, that that if we provide uh, some networking uh, uh, facility to a embedded system or we connect all the embedded system to a to a, to a network we can call it a, a iot device so uh, when uh, when uh, a device is connected to internet then there, there is a risk of uh, you know uh, secure security is security issues are there uh, <clears throat> I, I i hope you have you might have seen a, 
advertisement of uh, Loy Desi where uh, Amitabh Bachchan uh, uh, just show how to turn on and off the AC of uh, his home through his mobile, right? And then Jaya call her to stop that thing and like that on airport. So what uh, what if some somebody hack that system and uh, say that control that system and all like although that uh, may we, we can we can assume that ac by ac is not not so dangerous but for what about uh, our home security system or maybe our ip camera uh, ip camera can be hacked by someone and all so security issue is also there so this one is also a, also a design issue after that uh, we have some design limitations as well we have to uh, to design that 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 uh, uh, i missed that question again uh, sir, sir can you can you repeat it Hello. Okay, uh, I will I will uh, cover uh, that question if uh, if there is any question uh, in the last because otherwise I have to I have to switch to a small screen again and it will uh, consume some time. So. Uh, so, if we talk about uh, then design limitations, then again design uh, uh, that there are again challenges in designing uh, because uh, that that requirement is to to keep the system again small in size and uh, a, a low energy hungry devices and a, a device that that uh, perform. A long term, long term uh, <clears throat> performance that can provide a long term performance without any any maintenance and all. So, so so the so the market uh, or the users uh, and users demands from designer to pack more processing power with long battery into a smaller uh, size or smaller specification, smaller area. Uh, again, uh, we can say this one is a, again a trade-off kind of thing. So uh, designers have to add all those things into that uh, small uh, space. That is that is a kind of limitations of uh, that thing. Uh, I I hope you remember we discussed that example of uh, iPhone 11. So uh, the, all things have to. To, to maximize but but uh, if we increase the size of battery then it will it will cover more space so they they change it into l shape so that it can easily fit among all the other uh, components and hardwares uh, then <clears throat> we have uh, power consumption again of course uh, we require a device that consume less power that can run uh, run uh, continuously that can run a longer period of time and all uh, then we have uh, heat dissipation so again uh, no matter what uh, method a designer uh, use uh, as long as uh, a electronic device runs it will produce some uh, heat it will generate some heat so so uh, either we have to provide it a, a cooling mechanism to it uh, or otherwise we have to 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 uh, use a component in such a way that they produce minimal heat otherwise uh, the, the, the the component will melt down and will destroy that system so the, again, a, again yeah, yes hello uh, himanshu sir sorry to interrupt you but uh, we no, are no, running no problem, out of sir. time uh, kindly uh, finish the Session. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, yes, I think uh, just just a few more slides are left. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, now uh, display. So again, uh, displays again provide lot of limitations to uh, to designers. Uh, like um, uh, if 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 size constraints are there, then again uh, also sometimes regulations. So if if you're uh, if if we talk about a, someone wants to use a high resolution display for a device, so that device uh, must have to use some 
processor that can uh, that uh, can provide a display uh, display output enough that uh, for that but it requires some uh, processing uh, as well again to produce display signals and that last one is the cost uh, again uh, cost is uh, again a very important uh, thing is there uh, all uh, all are co cost uh, <coughs> constrained uh, tightly constrained by the cost and uh, uh, everybody wants a uh, cheap uh, devices and all for example uh, and uh, i'm not talking about embedded system just just a daily life example like everybody wants a, a mobile phone which have a large battery large display a large amount of ram and large amount of uh, you know processing power lot of features in it but but uh, but on 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 very cheap price right so the, the cost is also a, uh, the, the thing and the last uh, one is the, up, the upgrades of that system so upgrades of system is again so a, a system should be a flexible uh, a, enough uh, or the, there should be a, a room to upgrade in future feature also uh, a, a example again for example old devices like our uh, our mobile phones with having KitKat uh, Android version or maybe uh, Android 5, we, we cannot upgrade it to Android 10 or 11 because there, there is hardware limitations. That processor is not fast enough to, to handle uh, that, that uh, kind of instructions or that kind of processing for that uh, latest Android uh, uh, OS or the, the RAM is not enough to, to, to provide, to fulfill all the requirements for it. So it, it, it should be, uh, uh, have some some scope for upgradation or to, for that in in form of hardware as well as uh, in softwares. Uh, I, I hope uh, uh, you might have know about the uh, the, the uh, program or, uh, or facility by some mobile companies that they they can upgrade your mobile phone uh, if if you pay some extra cost of maybe one thousand two thousand. They will they will change your main board of your mobile uh, with with some high ram and high uh, mem uh, rom with it so if you have a, a mobile with a 3 gb ram and a 32 gb um, uh, memory you can you can upgrade it with the same processor and all but with higher uh, ram maybe 6 gb 4 gb and maybe 64 or 120 gb uh, space in it so the, they they are providing some upgradation uh, features are there, although they replace all the main board from there. So, so I'll just say example here. Uh, Manshu. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I think there, I think there is some technical issue on my side. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, I think uh, this is uh, we can end now. This is already uh, we have seven minutes here. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, so, sir, over to you. So is 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 there any 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 questions? Uh, uh, yeah, Christian participants may come out with any questions. And uh, yes, uh, Doctor Naveen, you have uh, rightly said that the uh, embedded system without internet connection is not a huge device. Actually, this is uh, not internet connection, but this is that networking. The networking facility we have with embedded system, then it will be uh, called IoT, Internet of Things. But uh, it is also true that uh, without get, getting uh, connected to internet system, uh, internet, uh, you are not able to uh, transport your data from one place to another. But precisely, if we say that what is exactly IoT? IoT is that embedded system which is having some networking facility. It should be uh, different different modules need to be networked, and we will be having a special uh, session for that. How we integrate the different modules uh, of IoT and uh, how how we can uh, make them uh, to work an integrated uh, task, a particular task. 
So this was a very good uh, session, I think, uh, because uh, that was more to basics and uh, discussing discussion with the basic concepts is very pretty difficult. So uh, thank you, Himanshu. It was very nice uh, discussion. And uh, uh, for the next session, we are going to be with uh, Naresh Kumar. He is from uh, industry, and he will be able to discuss uh, how to. Uh, Go for prototype uh, development with embedded system, and uh, there are a lot many issues are there because uh, the advantage of uh, embedded system that it, it was uh, very secure because it was standalone system. But today it's not a, a standalone system. It's going with IoT and uh, different thing, things. Uh, what uh, Himanshu uh, said that uh, it's not a question of AC. It may be your IP camera or it may be your any other devices. So security security is a really a very big issue where uh, you need to select proper uh, microcontroller as well as what uh, the other uh, system software whatever the provisions you need to have in order to deal with this security issue. And uh, today most of the control system like uh, in engineering we are having the control systems. Uh, most of the, uh, the that one of the important uh, aspect of engineering is. Controlling the mechanism, controlling the parameters. You want to control the temperature. You want to control the light. You want to control the acceleration. You want to control speed or whatever the control control you want to have. Most of the control system which were earlier uh, created with mechanical system. Now it's shifting to embedded system and we have to be very clear that uh, most of the system when we are going with the, this uh, embedded system or IoT system, we need to be very, very uh, Clear about that security issues. So thank you for this uh, session, Himanshu, and uh, we close thank this uh, session, and we'll be meeting again at 11:30. We are having only 20 minutes. Have a cup of tea. Thank you. Thank you, sir.